guys, so today I'm sharing with you my spring morning routine. My day usually starts around half seven or eight with lots of kisses from my favourite little man and then I reach for my phone and check a few social media sites like Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook and my emails before getting out of bed. I pop on my incredibly comfy emu slippers and then I give my little man a few more kisses before making the bed. Usually too fair Charlie makes the bed but I was last out of bed this morning so it's my job. Then I wash my hands with this gorgeous smelling molten brown soap before giving my face a quick wash with some micellar water just to freshen myself up a little bit. Then I go and open the window, let some fresh air in, it's so nice to feel that spring morning breeze before heading downstairs to make myself a nice cup of tea. I've really been enjoying this loose leaf tea recently, I've got it from a brand called Tea 2 and I just love using this little strainer, it's so cute and the tea is really tasty and nice and fresh with the rose in there as well. So I leave that to brew for a little bit before making my way into the lounge where Dexter is already waiting for me on the sofa. I grab my laptop and then usually reply to some YouTube comments, check my subscribe account rather obsessively, look at my blog posts, reply to any comments, all while slurping my tea. If it's a nice day, sometimes I'll head outside and just sit in the garden enjoying the fresh air with my little boy who loves to sunbathe and just enjoy the rest of my tea outside. Then it's on with my gym kit get myself ready to do a little workout. Sometimes I'll go to the gym, but this morning I'm a little bit short on time, so I'm just gonna do an at-home workout. Just tying my hair back, ready to get started. So I head downstairs, guess who's waiting for me? And then I'm using an app called Seven Minute Workout, I think it's called, and it's really good for just burning a few calories and getting your heart rate up at home. <laughs> Dexter loves it when I do these exercises, he always likes to try and get involved, <laughs> helping mummy out as you can see. <laughs> and after about 15 or 20 minutes of exercise, that's me done for the morning. And I then head into the kitchen and make myself a really lovely breakfast smoothie with strawberries, raspberries and some frozen blueberries as well as some vanilla milk, some honey, some chia seeds and I blend it all up in my magical thermo mix. Then I pour it into my incredibly Instagrammable jar mug and pop on the lid and my little bamboo paper straw and we're ready to go. Next is upstairs and into the shower where currently I'm obsessed with this Neil's Yard Rose Body Wash. It smells so good, I can't even tell you how amazing it is. And then sticking with the Rose Stream, I'm using a new cleansing oil and serum from a brand called Votary, I think that's how you pronounce it, from Liberty. And this just feels so heavenly on the skin. So this is really my weekend pamper facial routine. Wash that off with a hot cloth. And then I use the matching serum, also rose scented, honestly the best smelling skincare you've ever smelt. Pat that into my skin and then onto teeth brushing. This is a very realistic morning routine, isn't it? And then I use a bit of mouthwash as well, just to keep my teeth nice and white and fresh breath. Then this is the fun bit. I always keep lots of new beauty launches in this box and at the weekends I love to try out some new things. So I'm just pulling a few new pieces out of my goodie box and see what I'm gonna play with this morning. At the moment I'm really loving this new eye serum from Lizelle. It's their Super Skin Eye Serum. Really been enjoying using that recently. And I'm also going to be trying out some new skin booster drops from Clarins. So I'm mixing it in with my usual daily moisturizer, which is the Clarins Multi Active. So you can see I'm just putting a few drops in and then mixing it in with my moisturizer and it just gives it lots of extra skincare benefits and patting that onto my face. Then I'm going to be trying out a new primer from Bare Minerals. This one is really good if you suffer from the odd blemish because it's got their blemish remedy complex in it. Just smoothing that all over my face and then trying a new foundation from Estee Lauder. Or at least it's new to me. It's their double wear foundation and I love it so far. Really lovely coverage. I'm also using the matching concealer again from Estee Lauder double wear. Just patting that onto my under eye area 
and then using my finger to blend that in, followed by my non-beauty blender, beauty blender. <laughs> then I'm using my IT Cosmetics brow power just to fill in my brows. I'm not doing terribly heavy makeup today, just trying out some new pieces. Then look at this gorgeous Elizabeth Arden packaging as part of their summer range. I'm using their eyeshadow palette, the lighter shade from that, you can see just dabbing my lovely Zoeva rose golden brush in it. And I'm also using the Elizabeth Arden Sunset Bronzer. This just gives such a lovely glow, especially when I feel like my skin's a little bit dull because it has a few shimmery particles in it. Then I'm using a Zoeva Contour Palette. This has got a really beautiful, very soft brown um, contour shade and a beautiful blush colour as well. I decided I needed a bit more definition on my eyes. So I've gone in with one of the Clinique eyeshadows and then I'm using my favourite eyeliner, which is the Tom Ford eyeliner. Next, I curl my lashes and apply my Rimmel um, Volume Colorist, I think it's called, mascara. And then I'm going back into some IT Cosmetics powder just to set my under eye makeup and anywhere where my makeup tends to run away. Then I'm trying out another new launch, these are the Burberry, I think they're called the Full Kisses lipsticks, I just love them, the texture is so gorgeous, I've been wearing them non-stop since I filmed this video, and that's pretty much the finishing touch. So my weekend makeup is done, nothing too heavy, next I go to my wardrobe, decide what I'm going to wear, and oh, look at that, magically got changed into a nice little lace top and some lilac trousers. Next is onto the hair, and I'm using some new Babyless straighteners, which I'm trying out. Very impressed so far, they have this snazzy technology in them, which means that it kind of tells how dry your hair is and how much heat is required. Don't ask me how it works, but it's pretty amazing. So I'm giving my hair some light curls, just using the straighteners, and they've got nice rounded barrels to them, so it gives really beautiful curls. Just repeating this all the way around my head. I do have a video for how I do my hair if you want to see this in more detail. finish off with a little bit of hairspray if I need to and then some lovely Gucci perfume at the moment I'm really loving their bamboo perfume pop my sunglasses on my head and we're pretty much ready to go so I grab my Radley backpack and it's out the door we go literally looks like I'm walking into heaven <laughs> and here's my finished outfit my wedges which you just saw there are by Ugg My top is by Karen Millen and trousers are from ASOS. You probably recognise my Radley backpack. And that is the finished look. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!